What's up, Arkansas? Trey here with Ghost Tactical. Just giving you a quick update for the Capitol rally this Sunday, November 5th, down in Little Rock. Uh, once again, we have been uh, given by the Secretary of State the front steps to the Capitol from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, they also will be giving us a podium and a microphone for invited speakers. We have invited several uh, companies, organizations, and politicians to uh, to speak so hopefully uh, we'll have those there uh, a couple things we want to go over real quick on what to do what not to do what to bring what not to bring um, the rally is at 10 o'clock starts at 10 o'clock and obviously being a Sunday we understand that if you have church or other things going on but we uh, you can come anytime you want but we are asking as many people as we can to be there at 10 o'clock um, we are anticipating uh, possibly uh, some media outlets being there, whether it's TV or newspaper, and we want to have the strongest contingency that we can at 10 o'clock in case that's when they come. Uh, as far as opposition goes, uh, there is a possibility of some opposition, whether it be Antifa or uh, any of the uh, anti-gun or, or, or gun con or pro-gun control community to be out there so we're asking everyone to uh, show up being prepared for opposition but remember we are doing this as a peaceful gathering we want to stay calm and we would like to talk facts and statistics more than anything the last thing that we want to do is um, get into a shouting match in front of the press with people that don't agree with us we're there to change minds and to um, show our politicians and our elected officials that we are serious about the Second Amendment, not to get into a shouting match and all of that. With uh, that being said, there is another item we need to talk about that as of right now, uh, they are checking on the exact wordage, but as of right now, we are being asked not to bring any weapons onto the uh, state capitol grounds. It is uh, against one of the laws. So as much as we would like to, uh, I'm asking you uh, not to conceal carry or bring any other weapons, uh, at least onto the state capitol grounds. If you want to bring them with you and keep them in your vehicles, uh, that is very fine. Um, we are asking for the capitol uh, police to uh, clarify the law and make sure that that is exactly what it's saying. Hopefully we will be able to carry, and if we are, then I will update uh, as soon as I find out. But... Um, as far as right now, I'm asking everybody not to carry uh, or bring any other weapons uh, until further advised. Uh, the reason why I want that is uh, I, I can't stop you. If you want to do that, you can. But the reason why I'm suggesting that is, is if there is uh, media out there, TV and all that, the last message that we want to send as a visual is uh, one of the pro-gun supporters and Second Amendment supporters being arrested uh, because we're not following the law that sends out the wrong message so uh, you can do what you want to but I'm asking you not to uh, bring them onto the Capitol grounds you can um, leave them in the vehicle or, or what have you um, the next thing I want to talk about is signage uh, I'm all for bringing banners and signs and posters um, the Secretary of State's office has asked me to pass on to everybody that they do not allow uh, any kind of sticks or anything being attached to the posters or signs, uh, they must be handheld. Uh, they do consider those sticks or whatever uh, as weapons, and, and they do not allow them on capital grounds. So we will be uh, having to handhold them, which is not a big deal. And I wanted to go over a couple signs that I've seen, and we were talked about in, in national, uh, the national size scene about different signs we'd all like to see out there. Um, one of them is the every second matter sign as uh, shown here uh, it's very very simple every second does matter and uh, it's used in both ways in time and by the second amendment with the word second being used as a number so that's a great one another one is um, because the second amendment defends all the other amendments and that is very, very true. Without the Second Amendment, uh, a lot of the other amendments and, and Bill of Rights and our rights will not would not be defended, including freedom of speech and freedom of expression. So, uh, and also freedom to peacefully gather. So, um, yeah, uh, without the Second Amendment, a lot of the other ones would would not stand up. Uh, another sign that I've seen that I think would be a cool one is uh, because the Second Amendment says so, and it's just very simple. Um, that's exactly what it is. 
And lastly, uh, a sign that I'm, I'll also carry as well is uh, it just says Second Amendment shall not be infringed. Um, obviously, using the words from the Second Amendment itself, shall not be infringed. So uh, those are all signs. And if you want to go back, front and back on a poster board and turn them around and all that or bring multiple, that's great. Uh, bring anyone and everyone that you know that are pro-gun and pro-Second Amendment uh, to the rally on Sunday, and I look forward to seeing everybody. If you need to get a hold of me for any reason uh, before then, please contact me at ghosttactical at yahoo.com. You can get a hold of me. That I have that. I can check that 24 hours a day. So if you need anything, please let me know, and I look forward to seeing everybody on Sunday. Simplify.